Hot dogs are as American as apple pie. Contrary to apple pie, however, hot dogs in the U.S. can be anything from a simple steamed wiener on a bun to one that boasts the likes of bacon, beans, onions, salsa, and cheese. Well, in today's video we're covering the most distinctive dogs in the United States. But before we begin, be sure to subscribe to our channel and then leave a comment and tell us what other popular food styles you would like to know more about. Okay, let's get going. It's possible to find delicious meat in tube form as Anthony Bourdain used to describe it all over the Hawaiian Islands. One example, the distinctive puka dog typically includes a skinless Polish sausage or vegetarian link covered in a secret lemon garlic sauce. Instead of a traditional bun, puka dogs are inserted into a bun-sized bread loaf with a hole in one end. Cooks used special prong toasters to crisp up the inside of the bread so that the outside remains fluffy and fresh. If hot dog lovers want toppings beyond the lemon garlic sauce, they can sample the signature Hawaiian mustard or fruity and or spicy relishes. Bourdain himself visited the Puka Dog location in the Waikiki International Marketplace in the No Reservations Hawaii episode. New Jersey claims more than a half dozen original hot dogs, but the Ripper is one of the most unusual. Royal and Anna Rutt invented the dog for the roadside venue Rutt's Hut shortly after it opened in 1928. The hot dogs fry in hot oil until their natural casings burst. The boiling oil further cooks the frank inside, creating unique crispness that permeates the entire sausage. We're generally a fan of any food you can just deep fry until it explodes. Street dogs are among the most popular vendor foods in Los Angeles. Patrons love visiting the carts to grab a bacon-wrapped frank after a night of clubbing, although cops and health officials aren't nearly as enamored of the food carts. Nicknamed Danger Dogs or Dirty Dogs, these links are sometimes sold by unlicensed vendors who leave the uncooked bacon out for hours in the SoCal sun. Bacon that is then wrapped around wieners and griddled. The dogs are served with toppings like caramelized onions. Despite the risk of food poisoning, danger dogs remain an LA staple. In addition to caramelized onions, patrons can add grilled bell peppers and jalapenos to their bacon spiraled street meat. Call the origin of the corn dog a meat in a tube form mystery. Dipped in cornmeal batter and deep fried, the hot dog on a stick is a staple of state fairs and carnivals nationwide. It's been around for less than 100 years, but the greasy convenient wiener with a handle tastes so good that everyone wants credit for it. Did it originate at the Texas State Fair in the late 1930s or early 1940s? At the Pronto Pup Fountain Shop in Portland, Oregon in 1941? The Cozy Dock Drive-In in Springfield, Missouri in 1946? The list of corn dog claimants is long, but one undisputed fact is that a single bite of this corn-robed fella, dripping with ketchup and or mustard, will take you back to your first state fair. Hopefully you aren't afraid of carnies or clowns. The state of New York is home to a three-restaurant Hudson Valley chain, Hot Dog Charlie's, which serves three-inch mini hot dogs. The chain also creates its own miniature buns, making the large window to diners a local novelty. The trademark topping is chili, but you can also get onions, relish, ketchup, mustard, or sauerkraut. The chain also serves hamburgers, clam rolls, fried fish, and french fries covered in melted cheese and topped with bacon all of which are in non-miniature form. New Yorkers love their dirty water dogs and look for the signature sabered blue and yellow awnings throughout the city. Like many dogs, these are known for their all beef meat and natural casings. What makes the New York wieners unique, though, is that they're boiled in vats of spiced water. The casual onlooker, the vats may appear to be swimming with dirt and stank, hence the name. In reality, the water is seasoned with spices and aromatics like red pepper, onion, nutmeg, cumin, and vinegar. 
While some connoisseurs declare ketchup forbidden on a dog, these vendors sometimes add it and or tomato sauce to the simmering wiener bath. Vendors serve the franks on dowie buns, which soak up the flavor. Toppings include ketchup, mustard, sauerkraut, and tomato onion dressing found only in New York City. The hot Texas wiener doesn't hail from the Lone Star State, but rather from Patterson, New Jersey, E before I being the preferred wiener spelling in these parts. It's been around since 1924 when someone known only as an old Greek gentleman opened a hot dog counter in downtown Patterson. Apparently, to test versions of his spaghetti sauce as a hot dog topping. He eventually found the ideal combination of ingredients, cementing the recipe's local stature. But no one recalls who the gent was or why he chose to name his specialty after another state. Maybe in the Patterson of 1924, Texas sounded spicy and exotic, almost like a whole other country. The dish consists of an all-beef frank, blanched briefly in hot oil before finishing in another vat. Cooks then lay the wiener on a bun and top it in strict order with spicy mustard, chopped onions, ground beef chili sauce, tomatoes, more onions, and the secret spice blend. In a city of divisions north side, south side, Cubs vs. Sox, craft beer vs. old style there is a broad agreement on one thing. Chicago style hot dogs feature a Vienna beef wiener on a poppy seed bun. Vendors follow a strict layering order when it comes to toppings, dressing the dogs with mustard, followed by a neon green relish, chopped raw onion, sport peppers, sliced tomatoes, a pickle spear, and celery salt. Chicagoans never put ketchup on their dogs. So for lunch in the Windy City, you and your chum can celebrate friendship and camaraderie over a couple of ketchup-free dogs. No one knows the origin of the term half in Washington, D.C.'s famed half-smoke hot dogs. Some claim it stems from the sausage's half-beef, half-pork composition. Others believe it's because cooks traditionally split the wieners down the middle before grilling. Divisions over the origin of the D.C. dog's name aside, locals and experts agree it's more than just a regular chili dog. D.C. Franks are spicier and smokier, more flavorful than a run-of-the-mill dog to international acclaim. Clevelanders take pride in their Polish boy hot dogs, considering them a hometown delicacy. Kielbasa, coleslaw fries, and barbecue sauce on a tasty bun. From there, restaurants around CLE add their flourishes, making the Polish boy a truly unique experience. Looking to try the original? Visit Banter's Polish Boys, where they serve house-made barbecue sauce on a traditional Ohio kielbasa. City's Polish Boys have been featured by Food Network stars and appeared on the list of Michael Simon's Best Things I Ever Ate. The hot dogs served at home barbecues and on camping trips in Maine are crimson. Like, alarmingly so. Known as red snappers, the beef and pork franks are dyed red before going into a natural casing that delivers a signature snap when bitten. So yeah, just to clarify, they are supposed to look like that. Instead of nestling into a typical side split bun, red snappers are served in top-loaded loaded buns like New England lobster rolls. The flat bottom design allows red snapper to stand up more easily, and the buns are great for buttering and toasting. Traditionally, snappers are best served with potato salad, french fries, or New England's Humpty Dumpty chips. Southern Arizona is known for its Sonoran hot dogs, a riotous hybrid of Mexican and American flavors that the locals love, comprising bacon-wrapped sausage nestled inside a Bolillo-style bun. The dogs are griddled on a flat top, allowing the fat to crisp and seal the bacon to the length, then smothered with pinto beans, tomatoes, green salsa, grilled and raw onions, mushrooms, guacamole, and shredded cheese. The dish was popularized by ravenous college students. 
Yeah, it sounds like a hangover tonic. It became so sought after that in one 2015 survey, more than 200 vendors had the dog on their menu in Tucson alone. Rhode Islanders are proud of their hot wiener. And honestly, who in their right mind wouldn't say the same thing? They consider it as much a culinary staple as cheesesteaks are to Philly. Weenie joint owners across the state agree that the dish originated at the original New York System eatery at 424 Smith Street in Providence. While many other hot dogs contain a mixture of processed ingredients, hot wieners contain only beef, pork, veal, spices, and a single preservative. Homestead Baking Company of East Providence almost single-handedly supplies buns to all Rhode Island. No matter where link lovers go in the ocean state, ordering a hot wiener all the way always includes a steamed bun, signature frank, mustard, meat sauce, celery salt, and onions. While Alaska's reindeer dogs are trendy, they're not solely composed of the meat of a particular hoofed mammal that may or may not pull Santa's sleigh, although we can't totally rule it out. Along with meat from the caribou, the North American term for wild reindeer, these franks, also contain pork and beef. Local eateries serve them with Coca-Cola deglazed onions, cream cheese, and mustard. Sometimes patrons add ketchup and relish. Although native to Alaska, the reindeer links are so beloved that versions can be found in other cities, including Denver and Portland. Despite its name, the Texas Tommy was invented in Pottstown, Pennsylvania in the 1940s. The dog is grilled over medium heat and contains a slice of bacon, pepper jack cheese, and peppers inside a toasted or warmed bun. Additional acceptable condiments include ketchup and mustard, and adventure seekers can even get a hitched version, which features macaroni poured on top. <music> Lastly, the Italian hot dog, served on thick pieces of pizza dough bread instead of a traditional bun, has its roots in Newark, New Jersey. Italian dogs are all beef, made with a natural casing and served with cooked peppers, onions, and fried potatoes. Cooks cut the pizza bread into quarters, making the dish more like a sandwich than a regular hot dog. Then they stuff the bread with one or two sausages along with veggies. Although traditionally used sparingly, mustard, red sauce, or even ketchup qualify as condiments. Foodies can find the Italian dog all over Newark, but according to a local who has eaten the dish for more than 60 years, there are only three spots where a connoisseur can find authentic versions Dickie D's, Jimmy Buff's, and Tommy's Italian Sausage and Hot Dogs. Well, we've come to the end of today's video. Be sure to tell us what other food topics you would like us to cover. 